All right, let's go. I hope yeah, I'm all fine and good online. I'll just quickly check. Alhamdulillah, we had a break and then we're starting again, inshallah. I hope you all had a um, safe time at home. Um, before we start, I would like to remember, because we were hit by a difficult situation in, in, in our community, somebody who was very dear to us from ASBCC Mosque and, and the masjid was uh, to me and to many, many of us, who used to be there um, anytime, our dear um, uncle, Hajj Muhammad, seeing his face, what was not only normal in the masjid, but seeing his face was something that we used to look forward to. And then SubhanAllah, many, many people are losing many of their loved ones and seeing them in difficulty because of this COVID situation. And Hajj, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took him through COVID and inshallah, surely, surely, he has dedicated his life in this masjid, taking care of it. He used to, he used to treat it such a way as if um, this is his house and um, And um, so it's, it's hard to say these things in words. Inshallah, may Allah, may Allah take him, may Allah, may Allah raise him to the highest level of Jannah and may Allah give him the status of Shaheed. I couldn't put words together nicely. It's, it's very emotional to think, inshallah, when things will get better and we will head to masjid, we will enter masjid and we will not see um, our dear Hajj Muhammad's face there. That's, that's quite unthinkable, but that's what, um, <clears throat> that's what, that's what life is, that we are here for a very short time. And then, and then when all of our appointed times are over, we have to leave. And that's the reality and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took Hajj while he took care of the masjid so much such a noble work surely surely may Allah <clears throat> may Allah save him from the azab of qabr may Allah make his qabr a place of peace and blessings of jannah filled with it make his qabr so spacious inshallah and may Allah make him raise him in the highest level of Jannah in the hereafter. Allahumma ameen. I will quickly check again whether I am online perfectly. We are facing some technical difficulties. Let's let's see quickly whether we are actually being broadcast fine or not.
<clears throat> We're live here. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, we are live. <coughs> okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. <coughs> Forgive me for my <coughs> uh, for my inability to talk so quickly. Alhamdulillah. Um, we're back after a month of break. Um, I hope, inshallah, I pray and hope, inshallah, you all were safe and sound. And um, uh, before before I start our session, I would definitely like to remember our dear Hajj Muhammad, our dear uncle, and um, who was such a dedicated soul for the service of House of Allah, and who has taught many of us so much that um, how even a small thing that you do for the sake of Allah, it's sadaqah. So, and he used to encourage us and he used to be so tough in his words. Um, tough means encouraging and um, inspiring of his words about do this, inshallah, this will be sadaqa. And many of us who used to visit masjid in any time, his face was there and he would make things easy for many people if you would want to do anything related to ibadah hajj will be there to make sure that yes you can have that moment with peace and with ease and um, when everything is over allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took our dear hajj um, through COVID, and um many people are suffering <clears throat> and many people have their loved ones suffering from it and their loved ones are gone through left of this earth through this COVID and I surely can relate now to them because Hajj was a very special person a very dear uncle and um, such a dear face that when we will head back to Masjid it will be quite impossible to think that we'll not see his face in the Masjid um, but then oh, it's, it's, it's hard to talk about it um but inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes his father filled with the peace and blessings of jannah and because he has taken him because of COVID, a pandemic may allah gave him the status of shaheed may allah completely remove all azab of qabr from for him in his qabr save him from the azab of hellfire and raise him in the highest level of Jannah, inshallah. And may his hard work and his inspiration and his encouragement stay with us in our hearts. And we carry on that feasibilillah in any place, any work for the sake of Allah, inshallah. So, um, <laughs> alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we will start today. <clears throat> On a painting, it's um, called Autumn or Fall Colors, and I will have a tree, and then there will be some water, there will be sky in the background, inshallah. The way we start every session, I remind you guys that this session is entirely, entirely, let's um, renew our niya, that it's, it's a, the purpose of it is we will paint, because painting is very relaxing and very creative, alhamdulillah, but we design it such a way that we will remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala throughout the whole session that from me running this session is a sadaqah and um, I, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide me to re remember him properly throughout this session and convey my messages to you properly. And the same way you, when you're listening to this, do the adhkar and contemplate inshallah and strengthen your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah make the session for me and you 
a session of your ibadah, inshallah. So that's the hope, that's always the goal. And inshallah, let's make our intention to be, let that be the goal tonight also. <clears throat> now, um, there are a lot of young people, little people I know who watches the session and it's for everybody. This session is for everyone. So roll up your sleeves so that your sleeves doesn't get smudged with color and um, get water, get uh, brushes and colors. If you have a paper, that's fine. I have a canvas that's 11 by 14 inches canvas. And then if you're painting on the floor, make sure you have newspaper spread out so that you do not stain the floor or stain the carpet. So the way I start <clears throat> always that if it's a canvas, you you need to make it like um, soak it with water, not really, really wet with water but that may like to soak it i have a huge brush soak it with water so that so that the painting becomes much smoother and easier unless it becomes rough you can have a rough painting style everybody has a style of painting in my every session i say it you have a unique style of painting of your own so if you like to keep that you should never change that style okay now it's all soaked in water now what i'll do is the trick is if you with watercolor this trick works also and with acrylic color and with um with oil painting if you are doing that painting for a taking like a month then you can put color after color after color and take time but because we are doing this within just one and a half hour so we will go with the approach of the lightest color first and then come to the darkest so because we are going to paint sky now i will draw this border of a land and sky difference of land and sky I am drawing this with brush because if I draw this with pencil, you shall not be able to see it. So you, but you can draw this border with pencil. Let's say, let's say I, I will draw here, not really in the middle, a little down from the middle, like, you can see this is not really half, a little less than the half. So the above will be sky, and this part will be land and we will have blue sky so what i will do is i will take a big brush whatever big brush so you if you have two brushes one big one small don't don't worry about my big brush i have a whole lot of brushes i'm going to use this to to paint it quickly but you can use any size of big brushes so i'll take blue and to make sky blue, I'm going to mix it with white. Like a lighter blue, not a very dark blue. And then you mix it with white paint. That gives a nice sky blue color sky. I'm, I'm going to mix it and show you how, the, how it looks. So do you see this blue? Here it is. So I have mixed blue and white and I'm going to paint. So my goal is I'm going to like draw like a water body here. So it's it's kind of going to be like a reflection. So I'm going to paint this part blue. I'm not going to paint the whole thing. This whole thing I'm not going to paint blue because I want to paint um, fall color trees. So here is the blue, the blue sky. There. Here is the blue sky. And the trick is if you move the brush, the way you can see the way I'm moving the brush on canvas and even on paper. On paper, the trick is you cannot move it too much, then the paper gets too. 
um, uh, wet and tears off. But on a canvas, you can move it. Um, you can just sweep the brush this way, left and right. See how straight the lines look like? And I'm going to do the same here because let's say this is a water body and the reflection of sky is falling here. So I'm making a water body here. And while I'm doing this, the way in every session we remember that the hadith of Prophet is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, two words are very heavy. They're light on the tongue, but very heavy um, in their rewards. So that word is subhanallah, he will be hamdi. And I add with it subhanallah, al azim. While I am doing this, I'll keep saying that. And while you're also covering this part up, we will keep doing that. I've got at least say 10 times. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi Subhanallah al azim 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 now this part is done so i will draw like a path let's say Say the tree will be here, but say like a path went through this way. This is a water body and then like a walk path. You know, the, Boston is beautiful. And during fall, you have so many trails you can walk by and there are trees on both sides. So I am going to draw the outlines again with the dark paint so that you can see what I mean. So say from that far, it's it will come this way. Okay. This is like a walk path. And this part I'm going to paint with a. Um, now I'll show you what color I'm making. It's brown. I have this light brown. I have this light brown. It's not really dark. And I'm going to mix white with it because you will see, like the ground, the walk paths actually, they're very. They're very light in color not necessarily they're always dark sometimes there are if you go to the forests for a, a trail like a walking trail or a hiking trail some of those places which have so many trees around they look very dark the soil but then usually the one around the cities are not that dark usually they're very light so i'm going to take yellow so i'll, I'll, I'll give you a trick if you mix um, white straight with brown it doesn't give that earthy tone so I'm going to use white yellow and brown I'll mix them and make this light color I'll show you the yellow, how it looks like. So. <laughs> my my, my uh, 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 paint palette is filled with paints. So you see, there is the yellow, brown and white, and I'm going to mix it. I'll take a thicker brush. So for this, you need the thicker brush, whatever big brush that you have. So I'll mix them. We'll give a yellowish light brown tone. So while I'm painting that, I will be keep sending salawat to our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We talk, uh, all, uh, all of us I'm sure knows, but it's always good to remind ourselves over and over again. And especially I remember 
our young painters who are watching it and painting today with us for them that when we send one salawat to our beloved prophet sallallahu allah subhanahu wa ta'ala rewards us with 10 rewards right so inshallah if we say <laughs> you can count like if you say 10 salawat to our beloved prophet sallallahu you get 100 rewards subhanallah that that's what shows allah allah ar rahman ar rahim that he's so merciful that you inshallah you do one good deed one salawat and for that you get 10 rewards subhanallah so i'll keep saying salawat to our beloved prophet sallallahu while i'm painting this path because i drew a line right okay bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim allahumma salli ala sayyidina muhammad 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 I'm going I'm covering this whole ground part see I'm covering the whole ground part so this is the ground and we will we'll like make a path out of it later I will show you how you add like dark colors and light colors and that ends up making giving the outline and it shows oh this part is a path and that part is a forest or that part is so far away this part is so close this small space I will show you how you can make it look that this part is so far and that part is so close i'll teach you how to do that inshallah everything is inshallah may allah make us enable us to do that inshallah so i'm just making this like a say this part of the ground is a little gone into water there the ground is done hmm. now it's done and now what we will do is now let's go to the fun part we i have for fall colors what is fall color i i know many people like the peak fall i like exactly in the middle when there are green leaves are still there some trees are red some are yellow some are green fall is my most favorite season of new england i have taken incredible amount of photographs this year when at the beginning of this uh, uh, lockdown we started painting i was telling you all that we should go out around our house and see the nature because we're stuck at home we cannot necessarily go to hang out with people and etc so we should appreciate <clears throat> nature more and be in nature with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so i went around and took incredible amount of fall paintings this year alhamdulillah <laughs> so the colors of fall red yellow and we will make that and this is a dark red that one i showed you was a much orangish kind of red and then of course brown you will see in the tree some parts will be brown now i have a photograph which i am going to look at over and over again while painting. Nice. So let's start with the again the lighter base. So yellow. Let's make like an orangish yellow. I will show you what kind of orangish yellow I'm making. So I took yellow. I'm going to take a little bit of white also. One one thing. If you mix white and red before you mixing it with yellow, it becomes pinkish. <laughs> That's the beautiful part of it. If you want to make the peach color, then you mix white and orange first. 
then you mix yellow in it. But if you want to make like a more lighter yellowish orange, you mix the white and yellow first, then you add orange to it. So I have taken white paint, yes, and I'm going to mix it with yellow first. And then I'm going to mix that yellow because that makes the yellow much lighter. And then I'm going to mix it with orange. That will give like a lighter orange shade. I'll show you my brush so that you know. There. Do you see this? Yes. And this part that we kept empty, I'm going to cover this part with this orangish yellow. Because remember, the sky is like one tree is so high up that the, it's covering this much. I'm going to cover this with this orange. And while I am doing this, I'm going to keep sending salawat to our beloved Prophet Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 I can, let me share something that I taught my Sunday school students the other Sunday. I am sure there are a whole lot of young people who are watching. They shall be able to benefit from it, and the rest of our also can benefit from it. Is that um, we had the month of Rabi'ul Awwal last month, the Islamic calendar. So I was talking about them, about Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and I'm teaching them Tashahud. So in Tashahud, um, when we go visit somebody we admire so much. I ask my students, imagine somebody you admire so much and you you got a chance to visit them and sit with them just like one-on-one. -on -one. What are you going to think about and what are you going to talk? Quickly think about it. And they thought about it. And then I asked them, did you talk about us or anyone else? <laughs> they started giggling like, why would I talk about anyone else other than me? To somebody whom I like my idol like my um, somebody whom I admire so much I will only talk about myself to them so the beautiful thing is Prophet ﷺ was taken up in the heavens in for uh, on Isra al miraj so he went and he sat and had the conversation with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which we recite today a part of the conversation as the shahud so um, one one line is Assalamu alaika ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and that the salam is to the Prophet O oh, oh Prophet peace be upon you and the rahmah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but in response Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says Assalamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin so, and peace be upon us and the righteous and upon the righteous so him sitting up there in heaven he doesn't talk about himself and doesn't take the salam only on himself but he includes us there so that's incredible <laughs> he doesn't forget about us subhanallah so we surely can not forget about him and keep sending salawat to him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And even for that salawat, we send salawat and we gain rewards for that. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. So, so now it looks like all this. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the outline of the branch of the tree. Like say, I will draw a whole bunch of trees. You can see me. And if it's, and I'm, I'm going very fast because I have to finish this within time. You can pause it later, like later you can watch the recording, pause it and do this. You can try this with pencil. I'm going to go straight with brush. So I'm going to take my dark brown paint. I have this very dark brown. I'm going to take this paint.
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a little bit green and black with it you know if you mix green um, in a paint I need so you can paint this tree with a little bit thicker brush I'm trying to find thick brushes I have so you can use your thicker brush for this I'm going to use this if you have a lot of brushes you can go with a little bit thicker like this one if you don't just use the one that you have it doesn't have to be very complicated so. i'm going to use mix remember i said that do not use too much black see how just on the tip of my brush i have taken a little bit black because black overpowers the colors and if you mix green with brown, it makes that dark brown feel of it. Which, if you see a very old tree, you will see it's a very dark brown. It not necessarily, because it's been there for such a long time. So, I will go ahead painting the, the trunk of the tree and then... You and Shala can try it with pencil. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. So tree trunks are not straight. They're like a little bit this way, a little bit that way. I'm going to paint like a whimsical tree. And I am not making it up. I'm really looking at one of my photographs and painting the tree. I saw a tree recently while taking full pictures that the tree was whimsical like this, that it was bent and beautiful. So I'm going to try to do that. Not a straight up tree. Do you see how I made the tree branches, right? And this is thick, so say the root goes like this. And I'm going to go and paint some more trees here, 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 here because it's not just one tree far there are a couple more trees too so i'm going to go ahead and paint some more trees let's see now now i'm going to show you the trick of how in this small space i will make it look like oh this part is so far so this is called um how do I? I learned it in Bangla, so I'm trying to translate it in English. It's it's called um, ratio. That whatever is closer is bigger, and whatever is far is smaller. So, so, so this tree, it's not very far, but it's behind this tree. So I'm I'm painting it behind it. Okay. And let's say this is also another whimsical tree. bent like it has so many branches here and there Oops. but do you now now do you see how it looks like it's just behind and it's far it's not close so that's that and then we will keep making the trees smaller the further we go but we are not do you see we are not going upwards we are going straight ground and when you go outside pay attention when you look far that the um, like the horizon of a land doesn't go upwards it stays straight but things just keeps getting smaller so i'm going to make the trees smaller inshallah so let's see here are even smaller trees like say these trees are not that whimsical they're just straight up small trees that's all There's one. And because I'm using acrylic color on a canvas, I have to. Do you see how the strokes are not clean? You can see the paints behind it. So I have to put another layer on top of it. And these trees are very far. Let's say these are very, very far. These are very, very far. See? Tiny trees. But they're not really tiny. They're far away. 
Oh, these tree trunks, they're very, very far away. There. See? How as if like they're so far away. Now the trees are done. Now let's move to I'm going to let leave it so that it dries so that I can put more color on it. But in the meantime, now is the fun part. We're going to paint leaves. Let's say, let me start with green. I, I told you that I'm going to paint green leaves also. It's not going to be only red and orange leaves or yellow leaves. It's going to be green leaves also. I have a very dark green paint. I'm using it directly. And I told you the way you used green with brown to make the brown very dark, the same way you can use a little bit brown with green, that dark green, the green becomes really dark. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take that dark brown, mix it with green. And this is another trick I'm teaching you. I'm going to teach you now. You will see uh, the leaves at the bottom of the tree. Bottom, bottom is not bottom. Like the, the lowest part are the darkest. And the more it goes up, it becomes lighter. So, see the trees here, where, uh, this part, I'm going to paint it dark green. And because these trees are behind this tree, so the leaves will get hidden by this tree. Right? Because this trunk comes ahead. Okay, this is a green tree. We'll have a lot of green leaves. Because I need these colors to dry, I might go quickly grab the hair dryer for them to dry because I cannot leave it and let it dry for a longer time. For you, you can let it, let, let it rest. Once it dries up, then you have to do, uh, then, then on top of that, you have to put another layer. So here is the tree. It's green. It's green. So this tree is green, let's say. Right? And also, this horizon is very far. So what we are going to do, you will see in far horizon, um, this tree, the big trees look like bushes. So we are going to draw the, those bushy kind of trees this far. And again, the bottom of the trees looks like dark and top it gets um, lighter. So the bottom I'm drawing, painting with this dark green. Like you will see, I'm just painting this dark green. First, I'm going to straight paint it up and then I'm going to see how I'm moving my brush. I'm just going it like a random roundabout move with my brush. That gives that bushy stroke, like as if a whole, look, look how it looks like a whole bunch of bushes at the far. So it's like this. And I'm going to, and in between the trees also, right? Because far, that forest far comes in between the tree also. Because you can see everything through the bushes. So, through the bushes. Like say, okay. We've painted that. Now I will use much lighter green. Okay, my light green is again the same theory. You can use mix yellow and green and make it a lighter green shade. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I took yellow and I have that green. I'm going to mix that green and yellow. And remember, if you want to make it lighter, the more light you want to make, the lighter colors amount should be more. So you want to make it very light green, yellow should be more than the green, then it becomes very light. So I'll show you how light it became. A dark green became light, light green. I'll show you my brush. Do you see this? It looks like uh, the 
new leaves of a green tree, right? They're very tender and they're very yellowish. So the top of the tree should be this, lighter green. And of course, the trees are never even. You will see the leaves are like going this way, that way, that way, every possible way. So I'm making it uneven. And those far horizon trees, their tip of like the tip of those trees also has to be all this light green. See how I'm just putting light green on top of the like this. If I once I finish this, you shall be able to see that what I mean. And I'm not doing any special uh, special stroke. I'm just pressing the brush this way on the canvas. That's it. And in an uneven pattern. And that let me bring this canvas closer so that you can see. Come on. Just uneven pattern. That's all. And that makes it look like bushy trees. Okay. Now let's fix it. So, and let's fix this tree a little more because this is very close, right? So the tip should go even higher. It went higher, it went higher. And <laughs> today, that's what my goal is. I'm going to teach you how you can make water reflection very easily. Okay. This is very far. The far the far away tree is done. Now let's move to our close fall color trees. Now we will take that orange, red, yellow, and then I will use some brown to show you how it looks nice when you add brown to it. Again, the same theory goes that the darkest part of the tree has the darkest, <laughs> what am I saying? The, the bottom part of the leaves where they start is the darkest. So I'm going to take the dark red and you can use straight up red. I'm going to use a little bit brown with the red to make it even darker. I'm not going to use straight up red. I used a little bit of brown and it became like a crimson red. Do you see how dark it is? There. It's very dark. So I'm going to take that and start. So the tree leaf strokes are pretty straightforward. Here is the brush. And do you see? I'm just going like this. And let's cover the branches a little bit and some more. If you cannot run the stroke so fast, as I said, I have been doing this for a long time. You can take time, pause the video later. These are the dark leaves. These are the very dark leaves. This is, say, the bottom leaf part of the tree. And because this tree, this branch is there, so now my paint will overlap. And let's say this tree also have red leaves. So let's let's put it here too. And I'm covering up. Do you see? I'm covering the tree behind now. So that green tree, I'll cover it up on this red with this red tree because this is closer. While I am putting this color, I'll constantly say Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad salawat to our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 And Another reason for me to put the darker darker layer first because on top of it I will put the lighter layer and for me I need the paint to dry. If you're painting on a paper it dries right away. 
on canvas it doesn't dry it takes time so i have to put this darker paint first I know my hands are covering it up so you cannot really see, but you can understand there. So this tree, it seems like it has got enough red. Let's go to the these two trees, see, at the far. Let's go there and let's give them also red leaves. And see, I'm, I'm making this green part hide this red because they're behind. Read. Great. Okay. Now I will move to orange. The next after red is orange. So I'll move to orange, inshallah. Do you remember that orange I made to make this background? Now I'm going to, so this orange I have, I have this orange. So I'm going to use this directly. To make a contrast. There, do you see? It shows. So you, on top of this orange, you need a darker one so that it like makes a contrast. And let's don't. That's the best thing about covering it up with orange first. You do not have to, like put a stroke on every inch because there is already an orange color at the background right makes your job much easier and remember this far tree also like here this one also have to have orange leaves so i'm going to put orange leaves there too because the top of the tree becomes lighter so i'm going to paint orange leaves over there too Allahumma Leaving this green tree fine because this is behind that. See how it looks like they're behind. Now I want to make, you know, this far jungle. Also, I want to have this red trees. So let's have some red trees in between. Now the last part is like when it became very high up here i'm going to use yellow straight up but there is a fun trick there i i showed this when we painted the moonlight sky when the moon is rising behind rising behind a tree i showed this trick to you all that if you don't mix the paint 
completely in your brush. Rather take a little bit of this paint, little bit of that paint, um, and then make the strokes on the canvas. It just does its job. You don't have to do so much details. Like that's the fun part of you. That's called the fun of brush stroke. So let's say I haven't mixed the yellow and white. I have just taken yellow and white both on the tip of my brush and I'm going to go all the way top. And let me bring it closer to you to show you what I mean, unless you shall not be able to see. I've done quite a couple of strokes. Let me, bring it. Let me do a couple more because it's so small you shall not be able to see unless I Now I can show you. So here, do you see? I'm still trying to understand the camera. Where did my brush go? Here, here. Here, do you see how there is white and yellow? I didn't mix them. I just put them in the brush together and then make strokes on the canvas and they made leaves by themselves i didn't have to do much stuff that's why the paint about paintings they say like as if it's a stroke of brush and subhanallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation out in the nature everything looks like a stroke of brush it's incredible art out there so i'll keep you making these yellowish white leaves up there or i should say whitish yellow not yellowish white whitish yellow leaves up there now keep sending salawat to our beloved prophet sallallahu alayhi wa now as if like the leaves are you see i'm making the leaves as if they're hanging from the tree drawing them such a way as if they're hanging so i'll do this kind of stroke Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad 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 And now we'll go to the far far trees like all the way here and i'll draw the same yellow leaves on top of them Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Do you see? It's, it just became like fall color, just like that, right? We we didn't do much. We just put strokes of paint of all the shades, and it became fall color. Now I'm going to let you guys catch up a little bit. I will. I will stop and I will talk about some reflections before every art pair session I study and try to connect my reflections of the painting with the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Quran and Sunnah and I have found some incredible things in Quran while studying. It's absolutely beautiful. So I will let this I will also have to let it dry a little bit. And I am going to share these reflections with you. I'll bring it closer so that you can see and carry on. There. You all carry on. Catch up with that.
that we know the an old tree like the trunk of an old tree it's it's thick and heavy you how, how thick and heavy and heavy the root is i learned how heavy the root is when they came and had to uproot some trees from our driveway it took them like thousands of dollars our land road that's what i learned because they go so deep they're so rooted firm you cannot just pull them out um but subhanallah we make allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in quran in surah al-ibrahim says bismillahirrahmanirrahim alam tara kayfa daraballahu mathalan kalimatan tayyibatan kashajaratin tayyibatin asluha thabitun wa faru'uha fi samai do you not see how allah compares a good word to a good tree its root is firm and its branches reach the sky and then the second the next verse is to the ukulaha kullahinim bi idni rabbiha always yielding its fruit in every season by the will of its lord this is how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sets forth parables for the people who so perhaps they will be mindful. And subhanAllah this, this thabitun, we always like we were just saying that the root is so firm that you cannot uproot it. This word thabitun, like firm, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes their root so firm. And um, we make this dua, right? Rabbana afrig alayna sabran wa thabbit aqdamana. That, um, um, uh, that we ask for um, forgiveness and then we are asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make our roots firm in his path of deen. And subhanAllah, this word that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, a good word, that is kalimatan tayyibatan, um, in the hadith, Prophet tells us that we know it very much, like widely known, that a good word is a charity. A good word is charity. There also, exactly this is what is being told. Wal kalimatan, wal kalimatan tayyibatan sadaqah. That. So it's like, why is it that like a firm tree a good word is like a firm tree from the mouth of a believer right and then it reaches to the sky because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't say the branches go spreads to the horizontal way no it's like vertical goes up because say whenever we want to talk about something very big like larger than life or things like that we always say oh sky is the limit it's so big that it reached the sky. But subhanAllah, that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling. A good word is like, like a tree with such firm root and it reaches for the sky. Because we can only think, right, if somebody gives another person a good word, it's a sadaqah, that it's like a chain reaction that other person who got the good word, they will remember it and they will think, I should convey a good word to another person also because i felt good when that person told me a good word and they say it to someone else that someone else will feel the same way and they will say it to someone it's like a chain reaction at that chain reaction doesn't stop in say your generation it just carries on because allah alam how many generation comes how many how much people and so much history right there so that's how subhanallah the example is incredible that it's like a root like a firm root alhamdulillah 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 so i guess my color has dried a little bit and i have learned in one of the one session studying something i learned that a good word on the day of judgment will come as a good tree like it has made the branch shoot to the sky. Now it makes sense when I read this from the Quran. SubhanAllah, what a beautiful.
beautiful explanation. Everything in Quran is so beautiful and so artistic. Now, um, I'm going to. Now, do you see that this part? I have to. I have to. Uh, as I said before, that I have to put a double layer of colors, unless things doesn't look good because it's canvas. So I'm putting the second layer of that dark green here. Inshallah, and I'll constantly say. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 So these are the dark because my paint has dried up. So these are the dark, dark greens. Right? So the further it is, or the more corner it is, it's more dark green. Now this background i'm going to make it that dark green and light green like a combination that you know behind this big tree there is a bush kind of like that so this empty this empty space i'm going to make it like as if there are bushes here so there is a bush and there is a bush <laughs> And let's say it's just overgrown grasses. So I will paint. How do I? How do I paint so that you can see? Yes. So grass, you have to make the stroke like this, as if like these are overgrown grasses. Next, you can see a jungle back there. Yeah. It's all covered. Alhamdulillah. Now, do you see how this was such a small narrow canvas, right? But it was such a small space. It looks like it went far, far, far. So that's what ratio. We're making the closer things smaller, the farther bigger, and the far away part smaller. Trees and all. Now, let's let's draw this. Let's make the ground. And we will finally do some, you know, how you can make the tree more visible and all that later. Let's make the ground first. So I will take different shades of brown because this is the ground. So let's take whichever brush you're comfortable. I am taking, I am taking a bigger brush because, as I said, you will keep painting and you will have so much control in brushes, holding brushes that you shall be able to paint. Thin lines with a bigger brush. So first let's make lighter strokes. Like I made that light green once upon a time. So I'm going to take that light green again and make like see strokes. Light green. How you make light green? You first mix yellow and white. Sorry, <laughs> light brown. First you make yellow and white make a light yellow and then you make it with mix it with brown that makes it a light brown so so this is because this path goes this way so let's let me draw the strokes this way you see how it just changes the whole thing a diff a couple of different shades just changes the whole thing so i'm going to do this just draw parallel lines behind each other like this as if you're walking far so this is making the road right it went far and i'll keep adding these these are like debris on the road so those different debris when the sun ray falls on it we you know <laughs> it's physics but it's so beautiful that sun ray falls on it or the light falls on it and we see different shades Different debris reflects the light differently and makes different shades. Okay, so this was my lighter brown. Now I will take a much darker brown, like a shade darker than this. So you can just go straight ahead with whatever brown you have. Right? I have this brown. But that we are not going to use too much. Then it will look like, oh, it's all dark. But you can use it too much. 
There is nothing wrong in it. There are many trails that are really dark in color, right? Dark brown, ground. And I love when children paint. They have their imagination in every possible direction. So if you want to make the path really dark brown, go ahead for it. Now I have this, I, I will put this through and you will see I've taken a little bit darker brown shade and how I will make the path. Let me bring this closer. Sad, it looks tilted. So let's make the path that it comes from far, right? So far. So far away, I'm making the strokes very small. They're not longer, right? Small, small strokes. Closer it will come, the strokes will get bigger. Okay. Because this is far, so even the debris on the ground looks smaller. But when they will come closer, they'll keep getting bigger. Now this is very far. Okay, let me take more paint. This is still far, so this is still small. Now, now here I'm coming. Here, it, because this is close, so the debris should look much bigger. That's what I'm going to do. So over there, I took like small, 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 small stroke. Here, I'm going to take big stroke like this. Because this is that. These are the things that makes makes you paint things far away and closer. There you go. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma. Salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma 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 salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. I'll let you see this and um, let you um, have the strokes, inshallah. <sighs> Subhanallah. So we we have studied Babam Kachkochi. Um, we have studied before the names, beautiful names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allahu al Musawir, right? He is the fashioner and he is the fashioner, the creator who has created this beautiful world with such beautiful colors, and this is nothing compared to the one outside, right? Mm. One thing I was contemplating on and I learned is that that the word uh, al that root it it makes some um, it, it 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 makes the it, it also makes the word form like the human form but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Surah al Taqabu Khalaq al Samawati wal Ardi bil Haq wa Sawarakum fa Ahsana Suwarakum fa Ahsana Suwarakum wa Ilayhi al Masweer He created the heavens and the earth in truth and formed you and perfected your forms and to him is the final destination. Um, Subhanallah that our forms like how is our we are so concerned about how somebody looks but we don't think about how perfect our forms are like imagine allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may allah never put us through difficulty but if we didn't have this thumb try to work with these four fingers and see shall even not be able to hold that paintbrush there are people who doesn't have proper hands and they paint incredible painting but that's that, that he has perfected our form so that we are thankful and grateful to him, but he doesn't look at our form actually. Because in the hadith, Prophet says, using that same word that very verily Allah does not look at your faces and your wealth, that he looks at your heart and your deeds. In Allah la 
ila suwarikum wa amwalikum walakin yanzuru ila qulubikum wa a'malikum that <laughs> again the su that that look and the form comes in picture that rather than that more important is how somebody's heart is more sound and connected to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that's what we are trying to do in this session that we are trying to think and remembering these verses from quran and hadith looking at a painting trying to remember allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know the way so that you're mindful like dhikr dhikr of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and when you go to nature you see these things more and you remember more because we know from quran all these trees are giving sujood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not a leaf falls. This is from Quran. Not a leaf falls, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't know. All these fall leaves falls. Eve, every single leaf falls and he knows about it. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran that Sabbahalillahi ma fis samawati wa ma fil ard. Everything that is in the heavens and in the earth are sabbaha, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all these things when you walk outside all the trees all the leaves all his creation are giving praises to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying the praise of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sabbaha it's a form that is like continuously doing something so when we do the adhkar of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and remember him we are getting included in their group because they're continuously doing this the dhikr of allah now, now I will show you the final touches. Now it's going to be the tree. The tree is done. I'm going to make, like we made that dark tree. How can you distinguish the dark part? Like how will you know? Now you cannot see it very well. I'm going to, this is called highlighting. Like say, because this is sky, this side. So say the light will fall on this side. So I'm going to paint dark brown the tree I painted, right? The whimsical branches and trunk of the tree that I painted. I'll put more dark brown on it. And while doing this, I'll keep saying Salawat Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad 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 Maybe whoever of you have paper I'm sure you do not have to do this double layer of paint. Just if you are painting on canvas, you have to do this double layer. Because the canvas needs more paint to sit on it. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. And the trick is, tree, tree when the tree, a root, it just spreads like this. Like the darker, you will see, the darker debris spreads. So I'm just spreading it, that's all. Like I'm not keeping it at one place, just only to this place, I'm just spreading it. There it spreads. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad. 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 Right now, how do you make it put the lights? Take your um, thinnest that this also you did with your thinnest brush, but I'm going to just mix white so this is more white with very less brown so that it's more like white because we want to make it look like as if sun ray fail so those corners 
let me bring it even closer do you see so sunray falls on this side right so this is a very tricky thing you will, if you cannot do it on first go there is nothing wrong in that just you can practice it later and practice it many times this do you see with my thinner brush as if like the sun ray fell, fell on that side so that's what i'm going to do on all these it is tricky it's like you have to have very good control on the brushes but you will be able to reach that over time and as i said this video is recorded this will be there so you can watch it later again if today you cannot do this this border with your brush because it's harder you can practice it later watching this video again oh no, sorry i say the name of me Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad 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 Do you see how it's as if the light fell on this side? Right? So that all these highlights, subhanAllah, the beautiful creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala light that just makes all these shades and brings ahead. And I'm going to do so this not everyone has to do. If you can, just do it like I'm going to create some debris on the tree. The way it bends and twists, so that you can see the bends more easily. You really this is the lighter brown that I created, like the whitish brown. You can say, see the definition of the tree mark. Let's see, you see now you can see more definition like how the tree is bending the barks of the tree because you will see tree is a complete art when they cut the tree you will see the layers inside they're absolutely beautiful that's why sometimes people do not want to paint chairs and tables look at your four floor the wooden floor you will see the patterns it's incredible Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation now I'm going to quickly show you how to make the water because we only have 10 minutes we have orange and red here right so again this you don't have to do exactly today keep it for the next session like for the recording uh, so i'm going to follow exact color pattern it was yellow at the top so i'll paint yellow first great i'll paint yellow first then i'm going to paint red so this is our water i'm painting this thing in the water okay right this is our water and because it's water so this is the trick about water you have to make these lines very thin so that as if those are ripples on the water and then there was green i'm going to take green also so green and i'm going to use the light green because the darker part is so inside right that much reflection cannot come all the way here so i'm going to take more of yellowish green as if just the tip of the trees are reflecting on water. Okay, good. Now, now how do you make it water? <laughs> now is the trick, right? It just looks like, oh, what is it? So you take a very thin brush, like I took a very thin brush, take that very dark brown that you made with green, or even you can directly take black also, but have to be very careful with black because black overpowers. Now, <laughs> watch carefully. So I have taken this brush away. I'm just going to draw very thin, thin, thin lines. So those are the ripples of the water. That makes the ripples. And it look, that, that tells, okay, this is water. Thin. Okay. Thin, 
thin layers. One thin layer. And they have to be very straight. You can practice it, you know, with brush if you don't want to practice it because you're scared. You have to get the control. What you can do is, you know, take a pencil and take a ruler or a scale and draw these ripples with that first. And then on top of that, use your brush. Like it, it's not supposed to be a lot, right? And because this is dark color, on the sky side, I'm going to use green ripples because that's supposed to be more greenish. So I'm going to take some green and make these ripples. I've taken green on the tip of my brush, the tiny brush. There you see, there are the ripples of water. There is one last piece left still. I'll show you because it still doesn't look like water. It looks like, oh. Wait, it looks like, what is it? The ground came to water? So how do you separate them? You are going to, so this is white. I'm going to put a little bit of white also on these dark colors, like as if this is a ripple. Right now, how do you separate ground from water? Let's take that dark brown that you made. Very, very dark brown you made before. Let's take that or the dark green, whichever you prefer. It just doesn't matter because we're going to draw the difference and show, okay, this is water, this is ground. There it is. Right. And then there. Because ground where it meets water, it's very dark. Do you see how I came like step by step by step? That's way we are saying, okay, those are steps for ground. There is the ground. And now what I'm going to do is, to make it more distinguishing, I'm just going to draw some grass around the path. That will show, oh, this is really ground and that is really water. Let's say from far, it's going to be smaller grass, not big because they're far. There, right? Above the dark layer. And because it's reflecting, so there should be some reflection on the water too. And then when you come closer, the grasses will keep getting bigger. This is far. Grasses, reflection on water. more grasses here we didn't have time to paint clouds you can paint white clouds in the sky that will look very beautiful now when I'm closer I'm going to paint bigger grasses like here has big big grasses and reflection of those grasses in water So the light is falling straight up to my painting. I'm going to move the light 
to show you because it's reflecting and it's not showing any color. I'm going to show you how it looks. Because the paint is still wet. So on the water, the light is reflecting and not showing anything. So let me turn the light a little bit. There, it's a little bit darker, but you can see the ground. Great. So if I bring the painting far, here goes our fall painting. So you saw how we made the ground and the water separate? Alhamdulillah. So you can draw clouds here, which I didn't get time to draw. I'll put the light back so that you can see the color of it. There you are. Alhamdulillah, our fall painting is done, which I like painting very much. And inshallah, I hope you shall be able to pause the video, see it, and like get expert on those skills, inshallah. And inshallah, whatever I have said, um, a correct is all by the grace of and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whatever I have said wrong, may Allah forgive me. And that was because of my shortcomings. May Allah accept this session from us as a ibadah from both you and from me. Ibadah for the younger people. Ibadah is worship, worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like it's, and may Allah bless us and reward us for you painting with me, I painting with you, inshallah. May Allah keep us safe, take out, take this COVID off from us, that someday we shall be able to get along all together and paint in a like in-person session. I will enjoy it so much, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.